Today we're talking about designing web, social, and sale graphics. I'm joined today by our marketing specialist, Sam. So we're going to kick off with an introduction of how we use Canva. Canva is a web-based design and graphic design tool. We use it within our team for a lot of collaboration. For years, we were using native programs on everyone's laptop. We were using Photoshop or GIMP, and it was really hard to manage because we all had our own kind of brand style and our own font choices and our own spacing choices and our colors were slightly off. We would have to ask people, like, can you send me that Photoshop file for that thing? Or can you make me a new version? So we really dug in as a team to using Canva exclusively. And it's been awesome because of the collaboration, how we can comment and, and all the organizations. So I'm going to show you how we use it as a brand, as a team. If you're a solo person or you work with a couple of freelancers or contractors, we use Canva Pro. I think it's $120 a year flat for all of us to share it. I think we have six users in our Canva account. I might have given one to my kid to do a project for school even. Don't tell my accountant that. So I'll take you through how we use Canva here. Basically, one of the things that's really helped us is having our brand and all of our brand stuff pre-set up. So what Canva calls this is called a brand kit. So we set up our brand kit with logos, with icons we use, with lots of variations of logo sizes and colors. There's some nuggets in here, which is our mascot, and some plain photos of me and Jason as founder, but I'll show you some other options. We also set up these brand colors, which is color palettes for Paid Memberships Pro, for Stranger Studios and Member Light, and then for our site-wide sales. And then we have this extra one because some of our add-on icons use unique colors. We also use Canva brand templates, which is super cool. You can create a design and then you can start with it for anything new. So you might have seen the event banner for this webinar. That's a template. So we can just click. This was an old event that we had in September. Sam or I or anyone on our team can start with this template, click use this template, and then immediately be able to make the edits to the new version. So we know that the fonts are going to stay the same. Even if we adjust colors and placement of things, they're relatively the same layout. So we're not designing from scratch every time we do something. We have them for a few different of our brands, mostly for these classic size images that we have. There's something called brand controls in Canva. We don't use this. I think this would just be if you had very strict rules that you wanted to put boundaries on letting people choose random colors or letting people choose random fonts. So not a problem for us. We're a small enough team that we all follow the rules. We also organize things within Canva, which is cool. We have folders. These folders let us quickly find certain images and graphics. For example, we do these banners for our add-ons when they go in wordpress.org. We have a folder up all of them. So if anyone needs to get a new size uh, or redo one, if a logo changes, let's say BB Press changed their logo and we needed to revise this, we'd be able to find it pretty easily through these folders. And then I mentioned, let's find it, team photos. We did have these in brand before, but you can also use the folders in Canva to organize some reusable graphics that you use as a team. So when we set out to put this calendar of open office hour events together, Sam was like, send me pictures of everyone. We need more pictures for our banners. So we made a folder. And now Sam can always have these accessible within Canva to just pull from. I'm going to hand it over to Sam, who's going to show us how we use Canva to make featured images for our blog posts that we also use on social media. Thank you, Sam. In Canva, just like Kim was saying, that we have our folders. Here we try to keep every single featured image and the in post graphics that we use for infographics, like our association post that we had in this one folder, which makes it super easy. If I start something, Kim can take it over, or if Mandy needs to just go download something to enter it into a post, it's super easy for anybody on the team to grab. And similar to that, for our individual images, like Kim was saying with the templates, we do just use those as a template. So this is our most used template for our featured image. So it's really simple. We use the template. We pick whether or not we want the bold to be on the bottom or the top. And then I'll just delete whichever one I don't want to use that day. I'll easily change the text. And we do have this gradient on top of this image. So we just delete this and we find a new image. 
see if there's one that we used recently, like the money. And we'll resize it in. We'll put it to the back. And then that's it. We just download that for our graphic once the title's in there. So it's super easy. We'll just move this into the other folder. And then anybody can change it around and play with it. If the topic is not super straightforward, we do create several different featured images, and then we just select which one we like best as a team. Sometimes it's hard to find the graphic that we want to really tell the right story, but I've found mostly in Canva we can. They have a large library of royalty-free images. Because we're paying for the pro version, we have rights to use even their more pro graphics royalty-free. You could still import images from another image service or your own personal photography or your own pictures you took, or you could use the WordPress images, photos directory library of, of all those open source images. So you can bring in your own graphics into Canva, but we found that the libraries they have there are sufficient to mostly we can find what we're looking for. So in 2019, before I started with PM Pro, a former employee, Travis, actually created this mascot nugget and just recently kim and i really decided to implement nugget into our social especially on twitter so if you follow us on twitter you're actually following nugget and we do some corny chicken jokes every now and again but we are able to use canva to create all these looks for nugget and this is actually one that was just created for black friday that is what you'll see on our, yes, we have a Black Friday sale <laughs> <laughs> coming up. But with the, the brand kit that we have, I have all of these nugget parts that I can pick apart and play with and duplicate. There's so many different ways that we can manipulate nugget within Canva to create all these different posts for you guys to see. And I've been surprised yeah. how many outfit pieces are available <laughs> for us in Canva too. Like you're looking at this pirate version. This was a goofy thing we did for a Halloween costume. But every component there, I'm not sure, was the eye patch and the hat combined or were they separate? But they it were really separate. Like piece, yeah, and you can really piece it together. You just search for like, okay, pirate hat or pirate eye patch. And it's amazing what you can do. What, what it used to take us hand drawing things in the pen tool in Adobe Photoshop to create has really become really user-friendly. I know, Sam, you started with us oh, just about a year, over a year ago now. Just and over a year, yeah. Weren't really, you have artistic capabilities. You quilt, you sing, you're very into cooking and baking, so you are a creative human being, but graphic design was new to you. So Very you know, new. Yeah, you did some courses with Coursera related to graphic design. We collaborated and co-designed a lot of things together. And then with Canva, it's all just how fast you've leveled up with your graphic design skills by having such a cool tool to use. Look at this DJ nugget. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is this is a little nugget, but I just wanted to show everybody that how many pieces nugget really is. This is everything that I've had to put together. Even the sunglasses will come off. So, oh, wow. That is Nugget in pieces. And yes, I chopped off Nugget's hair. We'll put Nugget back together real there quick. There you go. There we go. We were saying Control Z <laughs> is our favorite command for all these. Or yes. Command Z. <laughs> command Z is the best thing in Canva by far. But back to our Black Friday sale, we have a square ad to quickly update. So I'm actually going to change the brand kit back to Stranger Studios. That way I can get the right logo and remove the old logo. Make this a little bit bigger. And then we did really like to put a square behind our... My hands don't want to work today. That's okay. There you go. We were making Sam design a lock, so she was, or you were wearing like a wrist brace yesterday. I was like, oh no. I was. <laughs> Don't Canva too hard, people. <laughs> and we're just going to round the corners a little bit because Kim and I did the 
the look of that. And then obviously this is for last year. So it is not 2021 anymore. It's almost 2023. Oh. Holy moly. Oh, it's a separate layer. Yeah, that's the thing. I think it's hard. You can't do two different font colors in one layer in, in Canva. So you're always manipulating it. But you, you might see those little margins and markers appear. Canva really is intuitive. So it's giving you these notices. It's helping you see how things are lining up. You just follow the lines. Anyone can do that. It's like coloring. So yeah, it's pretty easy to manipulate things. And as well as fonts, there's loads of cool fonts in Canva. So we've been happy with that. Even though we stick to our classic Poppins font, we've been yeah. able to have a lot of options there for sure. Yeah, so this was last year's ad. We just were like, okay, we're going to use last year's ad, change it up for this year. And it's pretty straightforward to adjust it. Yeah, and as you can see, when I'm moving this around, the lines do pop up. So it's really easy to click things in and get them all lined up. And this is not perfect, but this is just on the fly. Yeah, you're going to learn a lot starting to do more graphics for your own products. And if you're using tools like Fiverr or third parties or Design Pickle to create things, a lot of them are just using Canva under the hood too. So you'd be surprised. We work with a content team who created some ebook content for us, they were all done in Canva. So we were able to get that link from them. So even if you're using someone on Fiverr to create graphics for you, if ask them, are you using Canva? I have a Canva account too. And then you can have that source image so you can repurpose it for yourself later. If you don't feel confident starting the designs from scratch on your own. Another thing we use Canva for, it's not just for web-based graphics. Canva can actually do pretty robust PDF, high resolution print, graphics. So if you still print things physically that you hand out or you are attending a trade show or you have a booth at an event, you can still use Canva to design these things and print pretty high quality things. This is something we created, which was a lead magnet. A company is one of our blog posts. We had written the blog post. We had all the steps already outlined in the blog post. So we wanted to repurpose that content into something else. So we made it into this kind of two-page PDF. It's sized for a traditional eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. It's pretty high res. And actually I used, you'll see here in the side, I used this existing add as a new page kind of model idea in Canva. So I browsed different lists that they had templates for. And I was like, that's pretty close to what we want to do. So I'm not even at this point designing from complete imagination, complete starting from scratch on my own. I'm using the templates they have to, as a starting point, just to speed up my workflow and make things easier for myself. There's really no need to have to design completely from scratch. Ours, our end product does look a lot different than that inspiration template, but it started us off. So we just made it here. We used our colors roughly. We did adjust our colors to be a little bit more accessible with that white font. And then we made a worksheet view. So it's a two page PDF. I can go to the share download, and then just select to download a PDF. I just did a standard PDF because this was a web-based and it automatically downloads like a gorgeous PDF file that's pretty web optimized. I can still consolidate it if it's a little bit of a large file. Same is true. We used Canva for some setup guides that we have for Paid Memberships Pro. Even though we wrote the whole guide in Google Drive, it's all a Google Doc. We wanted to put a cool cover and back cover on the dock. So we set this up in Canva and we've used this. We designed it once and we've repurposed it for a few other PDFs that we have downloadable for. And it's pretty straightforward to make. We know our fonts. We know our colors are here. We have access to all the brand images like our logo and icon. And then the same thing, I downloaded this as a PDF. I had downloaded my ebook from Google Drive as a PDF. And then I used a PDF editing tool to insert and build that that this was the cover, and then I inserted the back cover in my PDF. So it's pretty easy to make, and I think it comes out as a pretty professional-looking downloadable file and a thing that you can really use in a membership site to add as top-of-funnel content if you want to just capture email addresses in exchange for a download. Just take an existing blog post, tweak it a little bit, make it a little bit portable, a little bit like an actionable worksheet. People love cheat sheets and worksheets. They say are some of the best types of lead magnets. 
and you can do all this in Canva pretty easily. I'll just show you how you can export in different formats. So for this example, we did a cover for an ebook that was primarily used as a PDF, but I can also download this as an image and make it like a little bit smaller size, or I can also resize it in Canva. And then we use that creating it on our social media and also here to make a small image version. So I designed it once and then Canva gives me the ability to have it both as a PDF view and an image view. So here's the example of where we have it embedded in our site with this downloadable form through ConvertKit. People submit this information, ConvertKit sends them a confirmation email and they get that PDF download. Pretty easy. I have nothing but good things to say about Canva. Sam's gonna, I think this is our last informational piece of this talking about repurposing content. What makes Canva really easy? And Marcus, this kind of goes along with your question. Kim, if you know how to tag projects, it would be interesting to know to combine them all. But different ways that we repurpose content is like Kim was saying earlier, we had this infographic created by another agency and Kim wanted to be able to tweak it a little bit more and everything like that. So she had me recreate this in Canva. And this is actually really simple to do because I was able to find every single piece in Canva down to the tags on the trees. But we took that infographic and we repurposed it to be an animation. So in Canva, you can also create either live present or animated presentations or videos. And so one thing that we did was we took this waiting line and we actually added different typewriter effects onto it. So as the video plays, your words are popping up. And then Ken did the voiceover to create this video. And it is on our YouTube channel, right? It is, yep. Yep, so you can see it all there. But each page has their own animations of coming in and out. I was shocked when you were able to create such a dynamic animation. And it was really just repurposed from a graphic we already had. So we're not like spending tons of time imagining things from scratch. And we're doing the same thing with this 14 tips to reduce churn blog post that one of our team members had helped. So again, this, these are multiple ideas for featured images and we did go with this one. But within that blog post and the information that blog post, we created this animation that again, Kim did the voiceover. And then something that we're also doing that we're not 100% certain on just because of how much content is actually in this, we are working on creating it to also be a downloadable PDF or some kind of lead magnet to include with the blog post. So there's many different ways you can repurpose content with inside Canva. If you're curious what tool we're using for this, this is called StreamYard. We talked about a lot of tools. We'll probably do a tweet thread of all the tools we use for graphics, maybe. Sam, if you want to do that and follow us on Twitter, we're PM Pro Plugin. That is our primary social media channel. That's where you can follow Nugget and see those cute Nugget looks.